Anything that grows exponentially uh, is going to appear, you know, to have a singularity when you plot it in the right way. And, and, uh, uh, and, and frankly, um, uh, I, I, I see no way uh, in the next 50 years at least that, uh, that we will be able to challenge the human brain in terms of complexity. I mean, those same people are talking about uh, downloading consciousness from the, com from the brain into, into a computer. I mean, who, who can do that? I mean, wh wh where is the memory to address in the brain? You know, what, what is consciousness? I mean, people are, you know, are talking about things that they don't even know what they're talking about, in my opinion. So, so I, I think that uh, there is a long ways to go before we understand how the brain works and then how to emulate some of its more salient characteristics. So um, uh, I'm not worried about the singularity at all. <laughs> the, uh, the, the notion of singularity uh, was kind of interesting to me when, when Chris Wilkin first came out with it as well. Was, I'm kind of enamored by it. But the more you think about it, and, and you see things like you know, IBM Watson, you know, playing Jeopardy, um, and you say, well, how close is that to, to, you know, to the brain, right? I mean, look at all that, that knowledge capacity. To me, it's still an issue of innovation, creativity, um, ideas. Uh, I, I haven't seen anything come close, you know, to what humans do in that capacity. So even if you reach the point of, you know, sing, you know singularity, and, and, and a computer had the, capa the, the, the capacity of what the human brain was, I still see nothing yet that leads to it being able to be as creative, which means, to me, that's where the human capacity continues to grow, with new innovation, new ideas. The concept of who we are and what is knowledge, you know, takes another leap forward. Uh, and, and, you know, I haven't seen the ability for computing to, to do that yet. I just want to point out one thing. If you look at the 60 years of computing, it was based on Boolean algebra, hundreds of years old, Turing machine, and one non Right? Those are the three things. Do we have anything equivalent to that in terms of theory of computation, of cognitive computing? No, we don't. So that's my singularity to you.